A new tonight on windy days. Just like today, you may wonder, do those wind turbines still function with winds up to 40 or even 50 miles per hour? Local 5's Dave Downey joins us now in studio with more on the limits those wind farms have. Dave. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, I was a little surprised on the answer I got from Mid-American Energy today. The short answer for the cutoff is it depends on the manufacturer and the model. It varies between 46 and 61 miles per hour. That's sustained winds, not a gust. So what happens when a storm is approaching a wind farm? How do those turbines go into storm mode? Here's a good demonstration from Jeff. When the wind gets really high, believe it or not, the wind turbine turns right into the wind. So it faces that wind dead on, which sounds counterintuitive, but that's exactly what it does and it's computer controlled. And then if I use this ruler, that's all I got for you here. The ruler is the wind turbine blade. When the wind gets to that threshold, it is starting to minimize the surface. By essentially minimizing that surface area, it decreases drag on the blade, lessening the effect the wind can have in trying to turn that blade. I also asked Jeff if today is a bullseye of a renewable energy day. His short answer, yes. Lots of sun and strong, but not too strong of winds. Tomorrow, unfortunately, the exact opposite. Live in studio, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, We are Iowa.